Hello everybody and welcome to our, uh, our market report. Uh, um, we were fortunate enough to catch up with Mr. Paul Lynch, co-owner of Standard Wool, um, who bought the most expensive lot, uh, not, not a season best, but the most expensive lot ever that was sold in, uh, in, 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 the, in the wool exchange. Paul, thanks a lot for, for your time, for, for having us, and, uh, and thanks a lot for your support in the auction room. No, no, it's a pleasure. You know, it's always nice to obviously sort of achieve records and things like that, but I think it's more important that the record is actually achieved for, for the farmer as opposed to ourselves. Um, I always have a dig at the Mohe guys. We want to try and compete at their level. Mm. 260 Rand a kilo is an amazing price, and I must be honest, if I looked at that whole clip, uh, it was really an amazing clip. So congratulations to the farmer who sort of produced that wool because that's the kind of thing that we want to market our South African clip on because it was outstanding. Really yeah, was. No, absolutely. It was a, a sound, sound, well-grown wool. Uh, it were, were one of the best clips that, that, that we marketed, mm -hmm. uh, overall clips that we marketed. In, and, and he received uh, quite a good average on the old clip sure. as well. Yeah. So, so, so I saw those averages on the screen. They were proper averages. Yeah, <laughs> uh, absolutely. Uh, oh, why the, 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 the 260? Why that specific line? Uh, what, what was so special about that specific one? Look, obviously it was the Micron, um, you know, which is the, the fine end of the spectrum. We thought that, that we sort of do sort of play in that market quite a bit on the fine end of, of the South African clip. Um, but as all I'm sure my competitive buyers will know, it's all about averaging. You've got to get to an average Micron. And there's not a lot of super fine wools to be able to get an average Micron of 16.5 or 17. So at times you've got to give it a go on the finer end just to get your averages. So it's not such a simple thing just to go to an auction and buy wool. You have to average the micron, the length, the price, the VM, the yield, etc. So it's, it's not as easy as maybe what some of the producers looks like from at the back where we're just bidding and buying wool. There's a lot that goes into it. We, we have to do all our averages and that obviously helped us get our micron back to where our client wanted it. And our client wants the finer end and this was specifically for Europe. And I think leading on to a question that I'm sure you are going to ask is, is, you know, why is there such good demand in the finer end? And the interesting thing at the moment, China, because of the issues they're having with regard to their production, um, they've been told that they have to close down their mills um, sort of three, four days a week to try and control um, the atmosphere. And, and Europe at the moment is coming out of COVID quite nicely and there seems to be a lot of demand in Europe. So, and from all the companies that buy uh, on the auction, you can see that some of the top companies now are the European based companies, which is good because you need competition across the world. Uh, absolutely. And we can see it on the, on the top 10 prices for the day. Uh, all, of, all of them uh, went to Europe and, uh, and, and it were uh, standard wool mostly uh, in, in buying into that lot with one or two of your other competitors who also sent uh, wool to Europe. So, yeah. so we're absolutely grateful for that. Uh, we were looking at, at the super fine end and we were in the 2018-2019 season we thought it was uh, a record high season but at this stage we're trading higher on the super fine end than, than what we did in the 2018-2019 season so, uh, so yeah, I think it's, uh, the, our, our fine wool producers are doing extremely well Yeah, look, at, I still remember from sort of 3-4 years ago when you speak to some of the, the big fine wool producers and you can see they weren't getting the premiums that, that we felt as, as buyers they deserve. And, and I'm glad for them. But obviously what is helping is, you know, the sustainable um, era at the moment. Yes. Um, South Africa produces the bulk of the RWS sustainable wools in the world. And, and there's a big demand for that in Europe at the moment. How long it's going to last, I don't know. The premiums are extensive, um, you know, ranging between 15 up to 20, 22 yes. percent. Um, how long that continue? I hope it continues. I've always felt that our wool is the best in the world and our farmers should be getting the best price in the world. At the moment they are. We have some clients who are not in that market and they phone us up and say that you're 5 to 8% above Australia. Uh, it's not good for my business because maybe we don't get orders from them but you know, from a South African point of view I think it's quite a proud thing to say well we've got the most expensive wool in the world. And, uh, and long may it last. Um, also the Cape Wool Sustainable Standard, I think that's going to start coming in in the next sort of 6 to 12 months because some people won't be able to afford to pay those premiums. But the most important thing, if I can tell the producers, any producer that's watching now, maintain your standards. Don't let your standards drop. We've got such a great product. You've got non-mulesing on your side. Make sure that your product stays well-classed and well-grown. 
Because the last thing we want to do is be supplying RWS wool and then people say, but that's fine, I've got that sustainable tick, but I'm not getting the tops that I require or these coloured coloured fibres and things like that. So maintain the standards, let's ride this wave as long as we can because I think it's for good for the producers and it's good for the country. Absolutely. And on that note, Paul, thanks a lot for your time. No, it's a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.